Here goes absolutely nothing. Uh-oh, it looks like it started a little fire down there. This time we are going to do five crackling balls. Welcome back everybody to another video on lighting off some fireworks, which I do have to say guys, it has been a very long time. And guys, we have got this entire field here to light off fireworks and it is all thanks to Boom City. So with that guys, we are going to get on with some really old fireworks here. Now, as I've said it in the title of the video guys, what makes this video interesting is that these fireworks are in excess of a year to two years old. And we're gonna see how they still perform after two years. And yes guys, we. We will be doing the pull pin smoke grenade, which I briefly showed in my firework stash video previously. So you guys can check that out if you want. And from a long time ago, guys, as some of you may know, I have the Patriot sticks and I still have a decent amount of them. And yet again, they are over two years old. We've also got some crackling balls here and these are pretty nice because they're cheap and they say new and improved, although I'm not quite sure. A ton of bottle rockets. Now, some of these are in fact over two years old, which I'll be happy enough to demo their performance. Next up on the scale guys we have the super triangulos and they honestly look kind of strange but in terms of how good they perform we're going to find out and compare them to the outlaw buster firecrackers just to see which is better now guys here is the smoke ball from two years ago now this other torch that i've had in some of my previous videos guys has met its ends as the clicker no longer works on it however guys the lighter does in fact still work it's just that i have to get it started here so in honor of my old lighter guys that i have showed in all of my videos. I'm gonna go ahead and get it started here. And this will be the first firework to celebrate my comeback for YouTube. Okay guys, so it looks like the fuse is having some difficulty and it just caught back. So guys, this kind of goes to show that fireworks from two years ago don't work too well, but it really depends on the environment that they are in. That is a beautiful green. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and do a yellow one next. Oh, that was orange, my bad. Guys, look at how dense the smoke is when you just stare right where it's emitting from. Wow, from two years ago, guys, I'm actually pretty impressed. These are the smoke balls from TNT Fireworks when I opened the package. So if you guys can find these smoke balls, they are amazing. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and try two at a time. There we go. Wow, guys, it looks like the fuse is cut off on both of them. Oh, there it goes. Okay, the yellow one has lift off. And wow, guys, that is a beautiful yellow, as you can see. Oh, it just really makes me appreciate fireworks again. I think it's actually violet, but I'm getting pretty close. Oh, that's white. It looks like a lot more genuine of a smoke, to be honest. I was really expecting to see purple with that. But either way, guys, that is a firework and that is what counts. Next up, guys, we've got the crackling balls. So we'll go ahead and see how these do after two years. Okay, here goes a new and improved crackling ball firework. Go ahead and back up. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was actually impressive. However, guys, I do have to say that that was a little cheaper than some of the crackling balls that I'm used to. But just to be sure that that isn't a degraded performance, let's go ahead and try that one more time with three at a time. <laughs> it looks like we've got four of the hemispheres and I'm not sure where some of the other ones went. But chasing after the fact, guys, I have to say after two years of waiting, fireworks still perform amazing. Okay, guys, and next up we have a grab bag. It's sort of just some miscellaneous fireworks that I have lying around. So we will go ahead and test each of these and see how they perform after two years. Ah, oh, I miss you, Lighter. Brought me so many great times. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. This is a flower from two years ago. Let's go ahead and see how it performs. Oh man, that was actually not bad for a flower. I do have to say, I am impressed after waiting for two years to see that these things actually still work. Let's go ahead and try a TNT ground bloom flower. Wow guys, and it is apparently very dry because this brush just caught on fire from doing that single flower over here. This time we'll do it in a bit more of a shaded area so you guys can tell me how it performs. Here we go. Oh my 
goodness. That actually worked. For me thinking that two years of having fireworks in storage would by any chance degrade performance, it has bought me wrong. This time we are going to do five crackling balls. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be insane. Oh my gosh, five of them have went. I have to say that was crazy. And now guys, given that these fireworks all around right here are seeming to perform just as good as they did two years ago, let's go ahead and compare the Outlaw Buster Firecrackers to the Super Triangulos right here. Now I have both of them to scale so you guys can see the size right there. Now, if some of you remember in my fireworks stash video, I actually pulled that one apart and found that it was a smaller firecracker inside the hemispheres. But either way, let's go ahead and demo these and see which one is better. Okay guys, so first on the scale, we've got the Outlaw Buster Firecracker. So let's go ahead and see how that does. Ooh. Now guys, we'll do the Super Triangulos. I'm not sure exactly how loud this will be, but what I can tell you is that the original wrapping inside it is just a normal firecracker. So either way guys, let's go ahead and see. Ooh. Now that did have a deeper punch as I predicted from a couple days ago. Okay guys, so one last time for scale, let's go ahead and do the super triangulos and we'll see how three of them do at a time. Oh my goodness. Well, I have to say that was kind of a fail because I'm not sure where the other ones went. So we will go ahead and do a redo of two at a time. All right guys, here goes nothing. Wow, two of those firecrackers have gone off simultaneously, so let me know what you guys think of those. And now we will go ahead and try three of the Outlaw Buster firecrackers, just to see how three of them compare to the Super Triangulos. All right, three of the Outlaw Buster firecrackers at the same time. Oh my goodness, that was so loud. So as you guys can probably tell, the Outlaw Buster is a smaller looking firework than the Super Triangulus Firecracker, but looks can be very deceiving. Take a look at this. It is just another firecracker and they're honestly just about the same size. This time we'll put them right next to each other so you guys can tell me what the difference is. And now we have the Outlaw Buster Firecracker. We'll go ahead and see how that does right now. Wow, guys, it's honestly a really close match here. In hindsight, I'd have to say, the Super Triangulus does look bigger because it's got that outer shell to it, but whether or not that makes it louder because of that deep compression effect, I'm really not the right person to be asking for that. I'm not sure, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Next up on the scale, guys, we have an M90 Firecracker, at least from what I can see based on the label, and I know that these are sold in a lot of stands and plenty of different firework stores. Now, I know I didn't put this on that competition when we were testing the Super Triangulos versus the Outlaw Busters. But either way, guys, let's go ahead and see how the M90 Firecracker performs. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, guys. I was really impressed by that firecracker. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any more of those firecrackers to show off, but minus that downside, guys, we have got a ton of bottle rockets to go ahead and test. So I'll go ahead and pick out three different brands here, guys, and these are two years old, and we will see how age affects bottle rockets. Okay, guys, so first up, we will do the Whistling Moon Traveler. I believe it's actually just called Moon Travelers, but it is a bottle rocket that is over two years old. So guys, let us go ahead and see how this performs. Ooh. Okay guys, honestly, let's get a redo of that because that kind of got away from me. That was a nice solid pop. Now guys, how that compares to the TNT bottle rocket, I'm not honestly sure, but these ones do not whistle, so they will have a little less content in them. But either way, let me know what you guys think. Oh my goodness. I was actually really impressed with how far that went. Next up, we have the Disco Flash Fireworks. And guys, I'm honestly really excited to try these because it has been a very long time. And curiosity always gets the better of me. I am wanting to know how good these will perform after two years. Okay, guys, here goes the Flashing Light Strobe Pot Firework. It's getting kind of loud here. Oh my 
gosh. That is so beautiful, guys. Look at that. It's starting to slow down, and I'm not sure if that's because of how old it is. But guys, that I'm about to go blind. That is so beautiful. Wow, I need to go ahead and try three of those at a time. Okay, guys, now here is the whole package. So we will go ahead and see how all of them perform. All right, guys, I don't have any guarantee that I can light all five of these strobe pots at once, but I will go ahead and do my very best. There we go, guys, all five of them at a time. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Oh my goodness, guys. I cannot believe how beautiful those are performing after two years. Yeah, guys, I really don't know what to say. They kind of look like barnacles after they've been lit off. It's honestly a really interesting chemistry. Next up, we have the odd looking smoke grenade. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm honestly not 100% sure what it's gonna do. But either way, guys, I am really excited to see right in this pretty sunlight. So let's go ahead and see what it does. Please don't blow up. Oh, wow, guys. That is actually white smoke. I hope this is one of those larger quantity smoke fountains because, wow, guys, that is going on for so long. I have to say, guys, if I can find these, I will pick more of them up. It looks like the conclusion is still holding, guys, that fireworks from two years ago work really well. Now, guys, I'm going to try my best to showcase the Sky Bacon Smoke Torch, and it looks like this is one of the pull pin smoke grenades that you hold in your hand, so this should be pretty epic. But, guys, here goes absolutely nothing. Got it, guys. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and bring this into some light a bit more. That is absolutely beautiful. Wow, guys, if you can get your hands on these smoke torches right here, they are absolutely amazing. Wow, just look at all of the smoke emitting from that. It is already going on a minute with this smoke grenade, and I am really impressed with the results. Wow, guys, I think it is still going. I'm going to go ahead and pick that back up now and see if I can still hold it. It looks like it is almost out. And there it goes, guys. It gave its last breath. That was about a two minute smoke grenade and I am really impressed with the results. I will put a link for these smoke grenades down in the description where you can legally buy them online and whoever can find them, I promise you guys, you will not be disappointed. Well guys, that's pretty much enough novelty items for one day. So I've got the gimbal off my camera here. So I'm a bit more free to record this single shot. It is called red and green. So let's go ahead and see how it performs. Okay, red and green single shot. Oh, wow, guys, that was so deafeningly loud, especially, guys, on behalf of it working from two years ago. Okay, guys, and finally, we have the Patriot sticks to go ahead and light off now. If you guys haven't seen these before, I don't even know why you're watching this video. I have done so many of these in the past, and they are great firework torches. All right, guys, and now we have officially got three of the Firework Patriot Stick torches up and standing. So let's go ahead and see how these perform two years later. Oh my goodness, guys. I cannot believe how beautiful these torches are. Wow, guys, it's such a familiar smell, too. I can't believe I am doing this. Uh-oh, it looks like it started a little fire down there. But no worries, I'm just stomp that out. Wow, guys, that fire is gone and that torch is very beautiful. Okay, guys, here goes the blue Patriot stick next. Wow, look at that just break open and you can see how beautiful that blue is. Gotta stomp out these darn fires, guys. It's pretty hot this summer. And here we go, let's go ahead and see how the red one performs. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful, guys. I just don't know what to say to that. It is so pretty. Let me go ahead and back up so you guys can see the full picture. And these Patriot sticks are one of a kind. Gosh darn it. Man, I really don't know what to say. It's like the ghost of the fires is here. Oh, that blue one is already up and there goes the white one. That red one, guys, is lasting a really long time. In case you guys don't know what makes a firework red, it is actually strontium nitrate. Now I do have a video that's pretty much down in the past of how to make these fireworks, but please be sure you are properly licensed before you do so. Wow, there it is. That was the best torch. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching this first video on fireworks that I have not done in over a year and a half. Let me know what you guys all thought. I thought it was pretty interesting coming up here to do these fireworks. And I am certainly really happy that they work after two years of being locked away in storage. You guys are awesome and I will see you next time.